you know, I always wanted to be more productive. I always felt like I was wasting a lot of time. I was wasting time watching movies and everything. And then I realized that time is something that really, really important, and I should not waste that. So today I'm going to share some of the tricks, tips that I did for myself so I can be more productive person. Hey guys, welcome back to the another episode. If you are new here, my name is Ronan. YouTuber, book blogger, podcaster, and a freelancer. On this channel, we talk about books, marketing, freelancing, how to make money online, book re- recommendation, and little bit about movie. If you love any of this topic, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Today, we are going to discuss how to become more productive. How doing little little things can change your life in 2021. All of these things I learned from different books like. I learn some of the principles from four hour work week. I learn some of the principles from some of the other podcasts, some of the book recommendation. So it's not my own thing. I learn all those things and combine today to just to show you how you can become more productive, how you can spend less time and do more work. Most of you guys know that I do YouTube. I have a podcast where I share interviews and everything. I have an Instagram page. I have the free, freelance business. I, I do consultation. So all of those things I do. So how do I manage all those things? Let's see today. The first principle I want to talk about is Pareto principle, or you can call it as 80/20 rule. We all know that 80/20 rule. I learned this 80/20 rule from the book The Four Hour Work Week. Like when I first read that, I don't understand. I I, I was unable to understand. I read this book in the first year of my college days, and I started applying or started seeing the my college life as a 80/20 rule. So basically, the Pareto principle says that. whatever you do your outcome 80% outcome is depends on the 20% input and your 20% output is depends on your 80% input input so i know it's a little bit confusing let me make it very very simple for you so whatever you do it's probably the probably whatever you do today or whatever you are doing is probably the input of your 20% input whatever the 80% is it's not about the 20 80 it can be 60 40 it can be 70 30 but you have to understand that what are the things in to do list that gives the maximum output so first you have to understand that you have to work and do stuff so for me my business is my first priority my freelancing is my first priority because that's when i am able to make money so my doing the freelancing thing doing working with the clients this is my first goal that what whenever i am doing and then it comes to other goals like doing the podcast doing the youtube videos or recording this kind of video so first you have to understand how you can use your pareto principle it's very simple no uh, jot down everything whatever day do you are doing in day to day life and then start it uh, start analyzing that what are the things are the major focus that what are the minor things that gives the major output in your life the next and i guess the most important law i want to talk about is the parkinson law which i started using this from the 2019 july 2019 and i really that really changed my life it's very simple it's very easy to understand but hard to apply because we never know where to apply and how to apply so uh, i i will probably make a specific video on that topic to explain you what are the things i covered or what are the things i deal with in this topic so parkinson law is very simple just setting up the deadline for each and every project or each and every work so you can just imagine in the college days if you have a deadline tomorrow for an assignment then you can do it in one night the same way you have to think about all your work all your projects so the, I, i usually divide my work into the project and the task so specifically if i want to talk about the project okay uh, the consultation or doing the pdf or any project so the project is combination of to do list and the task is between the project so i will probably make a detailed video on how i assign the project how i deal with the task so these are the things but you have to give specific deadlines for all your work all your to do list then and then only you can become more productive if you don't have deadline your brain will start understanding that you you can do this tomorrow you can do this day after tomorrow or you can do probably never do it so if you want to don't want to happen with you then make sure to use the parkinson law set up deadlines for each and every task like other one week one day or two days three day or whatever you prefer but start set up start using the deadlines then you can become a really productive person the next rule i started using is 2 minutes rule which is a very simple a straightforward thing 2 minutes rule this i read this 2 minute rule in getting things done which is a most and the best productive book 
if you have not read it there is a link in the description you can buy and read that book the two minute rule stays very simple if any task or any work takes less than two minutes to do it then do it right away don't wait for uh, don't wait for any other time or don't delegate these things if something test takes less than two minutes to do it then do it right away like doing recharge or to taking your notes or uh, segregating your folders or whatever it takes less than two minutes probably you can consider two to five minutes so whatever ta it takes less than two to five minutes to do it then do it right away next method i want to share is mit method which is most important task method I, I i don't remember where i listened to this method in some of the podcast i actually have notes but i will probably not talk about this today but the mit method that is most important task method which very simple rather than writing a big to-do list okay like in the morning i have to do this in the afternoon i have to do this in the evening i have to do this before the night i have to do this rather than doing a long list try to focus on one to five which is the most important task or which is the most essential task for your to-do list first thing if you are not writing a to-do list then you are making a big 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 mistake start working on your to-do list okay these are the things i have to do today these are the things i have to do this week these are the things i have to do your monthly so you can take advantage or you can be accountable for whatever you are doing in your previous month whatever you did in the previous month so if you want to be more accountable then you have to work on your to-do list and in the to-do list there is a make a column MIT that is most important task method and start writing the important task that you want to achieve today or important task or essential task you have to do today or in this week and focus on those methods by using Parkinson law and Pomodoro technique or the identity principle. The next technique I use for myself while doing the work is the Pomodoro technique which is like working on the short period of the time then taking a break then working on another short period of the time then taking a break if you have not heard about the pomodoro technique there is a science or there is a logical lot of science behind this method but i will explain to you in very short short detail so pomodoro technique is very simple like whenever you are you whenever you start working on your laptop or whenever you start working then set an alarm for 25 minutes work 25 minutes straight before getting any distraction like put your mobile on the sideline put your or either on the airport mode or whatever you prefer so straight work straight for 24 minutes then take 5 minutes or 10 minutes of break then again work set an alarm for 25 minutes then again work for 24 25 minutes then again take 5 to 10 minutes break so this is the thing you have to do it for the pomodoro technique like working for a period then taking a short break then working for a period then taking a short bit usually you can do it four times like 25 25 25 25 and then take a 50 to 20 minute bit this will definitely change your life i mean if you are using a lot of phones if you are using while distracted on the instagram and everything social media then start using the pomodoro technique that will definitely help you to get rid of all those things there are a few other hacks that i want to talk about is putting your phone uh, putting or clearing all your notifications or do not try to open your notifications try to put your phone on the silent or try to put your phone in another room which is a small small hack that i use for myself when i want to become more productive so these are the few things that i wanted to talk about uh, or how to become more productive because productivity is something i always aim for because if you do if you don't have productivity then you will spend uh, spend days months years by spending or doing unnecessary tasks if you want to achieve something great if you want to be great then try, start using these kind of techniques that will help you to become more productive if you want to be more productive and read from some of the great books then you can check this video where i share the top 10 non-fiction books i read in 2020 that will help you to understand the, this concept better and if you are if you want to make money online if you want to start your freelancing job then you can check this video where i share the top easy freelancing job that you can make and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and let me know what you think in the comment. Bye bye Tata, take care.